back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. If you missed the last episode, we are on the hunt for the raiders who attacked Neuhof. The problem is, I mean, there's lots of problems. Um, essentially, we got to here where we got lead that there was a limpy person, Limpy Labouche, who was part of the attack. However, when we arrived here, he's been mutilated by someone, which is fantastic. Um, so not really something we can do. We also picked up a quest to deal with a witch in the woods, and I don't quite know where the witch is. Where's the witch quest gone? Quest log, playing with the devil, you. Okay, track three, so let's get rid of that. Playing with the devil, where are you? Is it this way? Because we can't do anything now until night time when the priest will talk to us. So I reckon we go and see Gertrude. Well, I could keep asking around town, I guess. Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. Oh, thanks. Can you tell me anything about Labouche? I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. I don't have to, but I'd like to. Um, who did he meet with? Do you know who Lubosh used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. Okay. Um, why was he murdered? Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. Okay. Um, we're not going to really get anything That's from all you, are we? Thank you. I wonder who else we can talk to. Goodbye. Like, who else is going to give me some information here? No, you're not a named person. Okay. You know, let's do the witch. Sod it. Let's go and deal with the witch in the woods. Oh, maybe the blacksmith can help me. Or the trader, sorry. My respects to you. Um, let's trade. Now, I want to see if I can sell some stuff to you. There we go. No, where's my sell tab? This is my sub tab. No, this is my sell tab, okay. I have no weapons or anything I can sell, only food and stuff, that doesn't seem right. Hmm, okay. Oh, is it because you're a grocer so you don't want to buy anything else? That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Who are you? The scribe, maybe he has information. God be with you. Um, oh, you could also have stuff. What do you, oh, what is this? A bunch of books I can't read. Cool. Okay. Dope, dope, dope. Is this the way? Yes. Okay, so I need to follow A. Let's deal with the witch and then let's talk to the priest. Come on, pebbles. Let's get going. We have a witchcraft to stop, apparently. And ridges to get stuck on. Got another shrine, okay. I'm assuming these things must have some use, much like the accidents I keep. Interesting sight. What's so interesting about it? Now it looks like a grave. But I'm guessing I don't have a shovel. Do I have a shovel? Probably not, right? Could it come under other? Bandage key, I've got a spade. So sure I can dig stuff up, right? I'm 
guessing that's what this is for. So how would I use said spade? Maybe I can't? I'm so confused. Because it doesn't let me equip it or anything. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I can't do anything here. Seems a little strange, but okay. I guess we'll come back eventually. For now, let's venture through the woods. Try and find Gertrude. In the forest. So she should be somewhere this way. I'm hoping she doesn't really put up much of a fight. Yeah. Or curse me, you know. I hope she just doesn't do anything bad to me. Let me put it that way. Although the music's not very promising. The music sounds like Sonic is about to go down. Where are you, Gertrude? Ooh, is this her little hut? I'm gonna guess so. Well, I'm stuck either way, so that's okay. The Herbalist, there you are. Hi, my dear. Good evening. Good evening. Um, oh, yeah, can you tell me about Labouche? I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lipo. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask all you want, lad. Oh, thanks. Um, who was Labouche that was murdered? Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? Those that live by the sword, die by the sword. I'm not surprised the end he came to. Oh, okay. Um, have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Everything about him was suspicious. I always gave him a wide berth. Um, what was he doing the day of the raid? Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? How would I know? Okay, who did he meet with? Do you know who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? I don't know, since I don't go to alehouses. Fair enough. Well... That's all. Thank you. It was a bit of an outlier, hoping she'd know something, but... Um, oh, let's talk trade. What do you have? Armor potion. Oh, and more potion, never mind. <laughs> Ooh, that would be good. Restores energy, wakes you up and keeps the drowsiness away. Ooh. She's actually got some really good stuff. Poison. Damn, she's got a lot of good stuff. Okay. Interesting. Um... Training. Herbalism. Could you teach me something about medicinal herbs? Certainly. Beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. It always does. Ooh, have you tried alchemy yet? Uh, no. I mean, let me phrase that. Yes, but we didn't have any skills, which is why I decided I'm going to pay for some lessons. Wow. Pay close attention. Okay, so I've gained one level. Awesome. Less. Oh god, we're gonna get another Can level. Teach me something about medicinal herbs. Best alchemy minigame. Uh, okay. We'll give it a shot in a second. Um. I'm interested in more about. Can I learn level five? Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? I mean, yeah, but you won't let me. Well, <laughs> I'll think it over. Goodbye. All right. So how do I use your alchemy table? Where is your alchemy table? Is it inside your hut? If I go inside, are you going to be mad at me? No. Okay. Dope. Start alchemy. Okay. So. Ooh. The problem is we can't read it, can we? Nettle and belladonna makes something. Okay. Now, do I have anything? 
God, how do I do this? <laughs> um, first step is always to pour the potion base, which you will find on the shelf to your left. Okay. So let's start with the wine, water, oil, spirit. What's the base? The base is the upside down triangle. So, wine, I guess? Um, did you learn to read it? No. Without reading nigh on impossible without having yet. Okay, I'm just gonna wing it, I guess. Um, nettle. I mean, what's the order it wants us to do? And then add the ingredients to the cauldron from the shelf on the right. I can do that too. There's no ingredients on the shelf on the right. Good, good. Good, good, okay. Um, inventory, I've only got salt. Fantastic. I mean, let's just do the bellows. Just it looks cool. There you go. I guess all I've really made is hot wine. Okay, well that was cool. <laughs> um, I need to choose a recipe and hit prepare. Ah, we'll put those ingredients on the shelf. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, let's start alchemy. So, choose a recipe. Nope. How do I prepare this? You don't have all the ingredients for this recipe. Well, fuck's sake. Okay. Never mind. We definitely need to learn to read. We definitely need to learn to read. Let's just deal with the witch. I say the witch. She seems like a lovely lady. Um, I've come from the priest. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. I mean, yeah, that's what I figured. Um, I mean you well. You'd be wise to give me a straight answer. I mean you no harm. As long as it's the truth you speak. Very well. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. Oh. See? Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujits wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. Hmm. So that's where the problem lies. Okay. Uh, what ointment? What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you. Or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So oh. this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks. The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was but, uh, stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. So it's just a psychedelic. That's all it really is, right? Um, will you give me the recipe? Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. Um, yeah, why'd you let them have the ointment at all? So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Hmm. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. 
I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. Of course they did. Oh, so I thought how desperate they must be. And I heard their plea. Their plea or the clink of their coin? Uh, why did you change your mind? And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. Uh, what did they want the ointment for? What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. Oh, good. Great. Uh, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Okay, sure. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. God bless. Okay, can I firstly go back to the priest and get a beer with him? Well, actually, where's the village women? Oh, they're all in the village. Cool. Okay, well, sod it. We might as well chip everything off at once then. Because I'm assuming this might help with my speech. Well, technically I did get some good alchemy out of it, so... Small steps, right? Yeah, come on, Pebbles. Pebbles, the best horse in all the land. Not quite Roach, though. Roach was top tier. You can't jump, can you, Pedals? Okay. We'll go the long way. Well, actually, I mean to go this way anyway. And now it seems to be night time, so hopefully the priest is in the tavern. So we'll do the priest, and then we'll do the women, and then hopefully that'll be this area ticked off. Got a level in, I guess, horse riding. I can't see, because unfortunately my camera's in the way. But yeah, this looks like the town. And Pebble still has a bunch of stamina, so we should get there in no time. Gosh, come on. Yeah. Alright. Every time I see smoke coming out of top of these places, I just assume they're burning now. It's not healthy. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can loosen the priest's lips. So sleazy. Who are you? And why are you with the priest? Okay, whatever. The blessings of our Lord be. And with you, lad, take a seat. Let's get him drunk. A tankard here. Do I need to be in my dice or something? Alright, let's talk. I'm sorry, I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Uh, from Scalitz. I'm from Scalitz. My pleasure. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? Earn the priest's trust. We're going to be honest with them. They're dead. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. Uh, it was. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. 
parents, my girl, even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Taunberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. Thanks, buddy. How did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. Uh, he did send him. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujitz, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. Oh, thanks. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. Um, this time they weren't exaggerating. The rumours aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarrelled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. Thank you, here. So, <laughs> to business. Seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, You'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Right. You're making excuses. Are you just making excuses? The people who say the church is corrupt are right. You don't care about anyone, only your own comfort. I'm sorry you see it that way. Really sorry. You've no idea how wrong you are. He's I definitely not sorry, though, is he? Things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them. Okay. Tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life with a nice moral to them are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language. And the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching. And I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable well in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They don't know mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth, and they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay, and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs while Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. This dude is on one. This Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. <laughs> oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Pour me one. Funny. 
That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Huth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sassau Monastery. Uh, damn, you advanced while I was busy. Hope you like drinking. Yeah, this dude is rambling. Uh, you want to preach against debauchery? Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be for debauchery? Cheers. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, what do you think of Huss? What do you think of this Jan Hus? Oh, Hus, Certainly sorry. A wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Okay. Uh, the teachings of Master Hus. Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Okay, well, I can't read. What are folks saying about it? What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up, and the church will be shaken to its very foundation. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. There we go, Henry. Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. I mean, they could probably try. Uh, enough about preaching. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you what suppose? Else? We have a drink, of course. I'd say that's a good plan. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I'd like a Okay. Lots of boozing. We have such a hangover, aren't we? Hey, we're playing dice. How I called it. Called it. Can we handle our drink though? That's the question. No, we can't handle our drink. Awesome. Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk. The curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. Ah, oh, here we go. Are we going to end up in a fist fight with the bishop? Well, not the bishop, but the uh, bailiff. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. All right. I guess we're gaining the bishop's trust this way. Come on. Punch in the head. Oh, he walloped me in the face. How are we doing? Apart from beating skulls in. Excellent. Who's left? Yeah. 
Okay, but well we haven't got one. Climb the bell tower. We should not be doing this, should we? How do I get back up there? I fell. <laughs> How do I get back up? I can't tell how to get back up there. I'm too pissed. Oh no. Have I messed this up? This looks like steps. It's not steps. Oh, how do I get up there? Shit on it. Do I go through here? You're in a private area. Okay, oops. Do I climb up the ladder? Nope. Oh, fuck about. How do I get up there? Oh, I don't have to reset. I don't have to get up there though. I mean, I'm reloading, aren't I? Anything. Stratox, any idea, mate? Am I just absolutely screwed? Kind of guessing so. I'm going to have to restart, aren't I? Why can't you climb? I can't figure out where to climb. <laughs> See? Because I'm guessing it's not that. Steps not the other. Where's the steps though? That's the problem. Uh, this is what I can't tell because it's all blurry on my screen. Wait, that's a step. Okay, so there's a step there. How the fuck do I get back up? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, so close. We figured it out. The poor priest is going to be waiting for me. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> well, don't get involved, Henry. God damn it. Wonderful. So is him being sick, apparently. Just wonderful. Hey God now, damn it. Dears. Comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> God, my you old goat. Come here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I understand. Oh. Oh. The priest has mounted up. Say, Henry, shall we take a little ride? Oh, no. Uh, 
cool. Okay, good, good, good. Man, we're so drunk. Should I have done this before the witchcraft, or should I have done the witchcraft first? Huh? Where are we going, Father? Okay, well, we're in distrust. Awesome. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. <coughs> Solid. How's our hangover? I know I make you more drunk, but if you have a safe drink, use it Get maybe up. after wake up. Okay. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, stay funny, my head. Oh, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. What was that woman on about? I don't think I've got a safe potion. Before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! This is going so oh, well, shit, people. Shit, I have to say mass. <coughs> I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! Oh, you're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can't. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching. Oh, no. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Hope you paid attention last night. Uh, there was a lot of talking. Also, don't forget to get dressed and washed. Yep. Oh, balls. Okay. Um, the confessional seal isn't sacred anymore. So all at once, the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. Um, all right, but I can't guarantee the result. Well, all right. But I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. Oh boy. Okay. Where's the wash basin? Let's also eat. 
Um, right. How do I, where the fuck do I wash? Is this it? Hey. Um, right. Now I need to get dressed. Uh, maybe not that. What should I wear? Put my helmet back on. Hunting boots. I do need some boots. Got some leather gloves, I guess. Got the leather jerkin on. Do I want a padded coif? Mm, why not? Get as much armor as possible. Okay, I'll consider that a job well done. And I should probably wash myself again, just in case. Oh god, okay. Let's do this. Wait, where'd the priest go? Come on. Let's do this. I can't believe we're gonna do this. All right. What the? Wait, what? In nomine patris, et fili, et spiritus sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas, at venerabiles a manus suas. <coughs> Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Nice. All right, let me give my sermon. Why don't I get to give the sermon? What? Where, why won't you let me give the sermon? And now you're not saying anything. What the shit? Good health to you. I'm so confused. I'm what? Of I'm Why did I fail that quest? Now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it. But ask all you want. Hmm. That man Lubosh who was murdered. What was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Good luck to you. I don't know why that failed. Cool. Now what lead do I have? You know what, let's do some of this stuff, I guess. I don't know why that just failed then. So that's cool. That do be cool. Oh, Michelle Williams, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Well, welcome to my absolute nonsense. I hope you're well, if you're watching. Where's this lady I need to talk to? I don't understand why that quest failed. I don't know what I just did wrong. I literally got dressed, got washed, followed him. Hi, Zlatter. 
Can you tell me anything? Oh uh, no, I've heard about a magical ointment. I've heard something about a magical ointment. Really? I'd like to know where from. And what concern is it of yours anyway? Well, that's very rude. The priest is worried. I've been sent by the herb woman. The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? More money? Uh, did you do the sermon? No, I didn't get the option to do the sermon. It just, as soon as I got into the door, it said I failed the quest somehow. Um, she'd like to know what you're up to. She'd like to know just what you're planning to do with her. She's worried about you. What made her change her tune? You can tell her we plan to do exactly what we agreed, and not to worry. I mean, that's easier said than done, but okay. Hey, who's there? Uh, heard about magical ointment. something about a magical ointment. Really? I'd like to know where from. And what concern is it of yours, anyway? Um, priest is worried. The priest is worried. The priest? <laughs> it's nice to find out what telltales you have for neighbours. But believe me, it's none of your business. Or the priests. Hmm, okay. Charming. Um, try the soft approach. It could be dangerous. Not just for your soul. That shit is poisonous. So I'm supposed to believe the herb woman slipped as poison instead of the ointment? Well, um, she warned you. She warned you it was dangerous, and now she regrets selling it to you. She's afraid you'll hurt yourselves. <laughs> it can't have got any more dangerous since she sold it to us. Tell her we're ever so grateful for her concern, and goodbye. Uh, there's got to be something else I can do with you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper. I mean, Didn't mean to ask about this. That's all. I've heard Magical ointment. Been sent by the herb woman. Ointment's quite dangerous. It's not about the money. She's concerned about your health. That ointment can be dangerous. And she wants me to make sure you don't do anything foolish. <laughs> it can't have got any more dangerous hmm. since she sold it to us. Tell her we're ever so grateful for her concern and goodbye. Jesus. Okay, we're not getting anything out of you. Cool, 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 cool. Don't know how we failed the sermon, I really truly don't. We didn't even get to try it. I guess my next point of call is to figure out who this lady is. Can I get over the fence? Come on. Thank you. Is it you, Vera? Hey. I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb woman. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? Uh, no recent load before the church. I don't think so. The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? Haven't we paid her enough? That ointment is quite dangerous. I'll get a minus two, two to everything. That's not the point. The ointment's dangerous, and the herb woman doesn't want you getting up to anything foolish. We know all that. And We're struggling with these quests. Um. Yeah, it's over an hour ago. So that's cool. Okay, I mean, there's got to be some other person here then. What's my map saying? Let's go back to the actual main town. Who here could possibly know? Someone must have an inclination of what is going on. So what's this? Interesting site, okay. What are you? Unexplored place, okay. Um, where... I don't have a quest marker now, though. That's even more confusing. I'm very, very confused now. Very, very confused now. These onions will make you weep like a baby. Fantastic. 
The Bailiff. You're probably not going to like me, right? My respects to you. Oh, you don't mind me. Cool. Mayor of Arrowfell main quest. Is that possible? Godwin won't tell me who Lubosh's cronies were. I've reached a complete standstill. Don't even mention that so-called priest. He knocked out one of my teeth yesterday. And you Oops. were there with him. I ought to clap you in the stocks. <laughs> I'll go willingly if you stick Godwin next to me. It'd be worth it just to see him suffer. I can well imagine. I've already told you, nobody came here to see him. But now it occurs to me. I did hear he was tried in Rate for some mischief or other. Maybe you can find out something there. The scribe might have made a record of it. Thanks, Bailiff. I never thought of that. And let me give you another piece of advice. Don't go boozing with Godwin again. I won't. We got laid, that was good enough. Okay, so the bailiff has given me some help. So now, what? We'll talk to the Rate scribe. Look through the Rate Black Chronicle for any record of Labouche. Okay. Okay. We might have fixed it. Cool. I need the Alchemist Lady, I think. I need to buy one of those Amour potions. She was here, I want to say. So I need to get over there. Ah, so there's a way forward. Interesting. Apparently so. We need to get one of those potions that allows us to be more charismatic. And we need to help these poor ladies yeah. with this ointment. So let's get going. Bench all the way down here. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, we can fast travel back to here. Um, did you learn to read before you sent before you sent across the map to read a book? No. My plan was to talk to the scribe. Yeah. Learn to read, though. That might be my next point of call, actually. For fuck's sake. Yeah. Bloody bushes, man. This music gets very intense in this woods. Very, very intense. I guess let's go learn to read. Alright, well there's the lady. I would like to buy some stuff. Because it's not going well. Greetings. What do you need? Uh, let's talk trade. I only get one. Okay, well, let's take some of this as well, just in case. Um, don't make a push. What's that? That sounds... Why would I want to do that? Padfoot potion, what's that? That'd be really good. Let's go and take that just in case. Alright, check basket, close the deal. I'm happy with that. Cool. Now we need to venture back. I think I have a quest actually for reading, to be honest. So that should probably be our next point of call. Let's fast travel here. Try and wrap up this quest. Maybe even wait three or so hours. See if our hangover where we've got is sort of dissipated. Can we track three? Yeah, yeah. I right, quest is. Oh, is the quest in this town? Interesting. All right, how's my hangover looking? Better. Okay. Right, let's go deal with these ladies. And I guess then pay to read. I'm 
really annoying how the little timer for my recording is covering the uh, thing. Let's get rid of that quick. It'll disappear in one second. Move out the way. Right, and then we'll down our Amour potion. Now talk to me. Uh, magic ointment. Really? Let's try and get through this SAP. Herb woman. Ointment is dangerous. It's not about the money. She's concerned about your health. <laughs> and we still failed. Are you shitting me? I've come. And no, I'm not asking about the Bosch back. Okay. Magic ointment. The priest is worried. We'll threaten her. Only herbal okay. ointment, some chanting, and three women at night in the woods. No harm done to anyone. Maybe some help to some. So why don't you stop interfering? Follow the women to the woods. Okay. Well, next point of call. Let's do our quest log. Um, we will get rid of mysterious ways. Uh, uh describe it oops. I don't fight my land. The scribe is here sick. Okay. So we'll follow the lady next. Let's do the scribe quick. Let's learn to read. Wish my stamina would do better. Okay. That potion was a bit of a waste of money. The more you learn, right? Is this the scribe's house? No. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up. Let's jump over the fence. Okay, the scribe isn't here. Cool, 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 cool. You're a villager? Where's the scribe? Hey. Teach me, buddy. I'm honored that you should come to me. Uh, I'd like to learn to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. <laughs> But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. No problem. We can get started. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though. And set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces. If indeed time is of the essence. Yep, give him 50 groschen. Then we may as well start. Alright, let's do this. How many days does this take? I mean, learn to read isn't easy, so probably loads of days. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. Read the book. The Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple. Come back once you've worked your way through. Okay. One idea a country to go into the. Oh, so we're still not amazing at reading. The amateur reader was very rare in the Middle Ages, and the common blacksmith's son certainly wouldn't have been literate. Don't understand written text, you'll we'll have to find someone who can teach you. Okay. So we understand a few words. I've read the book. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? Um. 
There was something about some fellow and a goose. There was something about some fellow and a goose. Ah, well, the main thing is you've managed to read the book. The rest is just practice. Only through a careful reading will you uncover the real meaning of the text. No book is written on a mere whim and without purpose. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does Amen. That mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. He does not know us. All right, let's read the Latin book. Yep, no idea. Good, good, good. Back to the scribe we go. Uh, I read the page. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Uh... uh nullus est liber tam malus. Uh, Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't... Oh, I guess right. Before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Oh, good. We smashed it. Excellent. Okay. Now, we still got the ladies we can follow. But I think we're going to do that in the next one. He sells a skill book for reading if you can afford it. Ooh. Let's find out. Let's talk trade. Um, learn about no. How to brew mead. I've lost it. I lost everything somehow. There are skill books for most skills and stats. Interesting. Okay. Uh, maidens war ended. Homeland. Ah, oh, that would be helpful. Tournaments and nightly joust a skill book on reading. Can only be read after level five, okay. Right, let's read the skill book. Uh we will study for six hours. No, for two hours until six. Prime is one you went, yep. Hopefully two hours of studying isn't good enough. I guess we'll find out. Uh, best see more bonus, okay. Well, we will do more studying, but first things first, I want to go and take on those ladies. We have to follow them into the woods, so hopefully we can do that ASAP. There's our lovely bailiff. I forgot just how far away this lady is. Come on, there we go. I'm meant to be following you into the woods, aren't I? Mm. 
Yeah, she's not moving yet though. Let's give it another hour. It's interesting that sitting gives you a better bonus. It makes a lot of sense. Which is very, very interesting. Are you gonna walk or? All right, maybe we wait until nighttime. And then we'll go see what they're doing in the woods. Come on. Why can't I follow the lady into the woods now? Oh, she's here. Oh. What? All right, let's get running and chasing. Come on, get a move on. Come on, Henry. Hunt them down. Don't really want to use the horse. I don't want to spook him. Yeah. Let's get the horse just in case. Yeah. Just to catch up. Um, fair levels of vitality running more. Gotcha. Yeah, now we'll relax. We closed the distance a little bit. How far into the woods have they gone, though? I can't tell. Oh, they're not that far at all, actually. Okay. Very, very dark. Very, very dark. Okay, I guess now I just follow from a distance while crouching. Let's not get busted. Having that lantern would be cool, though. Where are you ladies going? Where art thou going? What is so lit up over there? Yeah, this music doesn't fill me with confidence. What is going on? Come on, what's my next objective? Watch the moon from a distance and don't interfere, okay. Doing it 
for our sake. Our intentions are pure. There's nothing to worry about. Silence. Hush now. Do you hear that? As if someone was singing. That'll be the tree roots. The earth speaks to us. Like Gertrude said, why is it getting so dark? It's very loud. Make it stop. At least for a while, please. My head hurts. <laughs> These ladies are something else. Trying to listen to the conversation is so funny. Yeah, these ladies are on another level. What is it? I feel the devil is coming. I'll go toward him. Show him the way to find us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. What are you praying to the Virgin Mary? You'll scare the devil away. Now what are they doing? Lord of darkness, we are here. Who is it? Lord of darkness, we are here. Really? Who's there? Just me. I haven't found anyone. You see, you're Lucifer, aren't you? So, thank you for healing up. <gasps> I don't mean to get so close. I hear someone coming. Who's there? Is Shit. It you, Kuta? No, I'm still over here. What's going on here? Oh, welcome, Prince of Darkness. God damn it! Make yourself at home. I thought I was closer in the last bit. What would you like us to do? We will fulfill. Your every wish, if you fulfill ours. Um, not all fails are bad, oh, okay. Prince of Darkness, what in God's name are you babbling about? Why are you testing us? Testing you? Jesus Christ, what have you been smearing on yourselves? A magic ointment from the herb woman? We are ready to pleasure you, Lord. In return, all we ask is that you rid us of the humans. And if you won't rid us of them, then help us get away from here. Give us riches, so we can start a new life in the city. I'll give you anything you ask. I knew it. Thank you, my Lord. Why not? In return, you'll have to... Have to... I feel very weird. Oh, that ointment. You smeared the ointment on me. Fear not, my lord. Nothing will happen to you. It's all part of the ceremony. Oh, shit. That <laughs> damn game crashed on me last night at this point. What did you do to me? We've gone drunk with a priest, and now we've gone all psychedelic. Stuck on the low screen. Oh, no way. Are you quite well after your long journey? Huh? Long journey? What? From the gates of hell to here. When will you take care of the humans? And... Why don't you have horns, and hooves, and a goat's tail, like the priest said? Uh, why are you a horse, and why are you talking to me? How come you're a talking mare? What mare? Does your sight deceive you? I'm Vera, and I turn many a young man's head in Ujits. Uh, only wear horns for special occasions. I, I got rid of my horns and hooves along the way. I can keep my tail in my breeches. I only get it out for special occasions. <laughs> I hope there'll be one soon enough. I 
flew in on a tree branch. It took no time at all. Flying on a branch? Will you teach us how to do that too? We are your mate servants now. We'll do anything you wish. Right. Um. Actually, I wanted something else. What's that, oh lord? Will you serve me and do all I tell you to? Oh yes, our lord of Hellfire. We'll do whatever you want. Just rid us of those wretched humans. Which one will you take first? Me. Take me. No, me. Uh, my god. Why are we doing this? And what about the third one? Why doesn't she speak up? What about the other one? Why doesn't she speak up? Kuta, you chicken, speak up! I want you, Sal. That is, Zlata. I knew it! Now what do I do? Lock picking very easy. What? Okay, so like what do I do? Lock pick their rear. Oh. I don't have any lock picks. Oh my days, I get it. Oh no, I can't remember how you do this. How, yeah, how do you do this? Was that it? The lot picking is so uncomfy. Find the golden spot and then rotate with it, right. Yeah, this is so uncomfortable to do. I don't get it. Looks tricky on controller. Yeah, I don't get this. Right, I'm in the slot. And then I keep turning. I don't get it. I really don't get this. So like, when do I stop rotating? Cause like, I can get to here. But when do I stop? If you don't stop. Whoa, I'm so confused. Trying to move both sticks at once is insane. Just a bit for a little open, okay. The problem is this, oh, trying to do this with an analog stick is crazy. I'm 
Because you've got to twist both sticks at the same time. You can't readjust your... Stay in the gold as best you can, okay? You can't readjust your attempt with the stick. So it just ends up getting lost like that. Unless... Do I try it maybe like this? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, what the fuck? Is there a way to just finish this quest without doing a lot of picking? Are you easier? I don't think so, as it's set on very easy. Fuck me. We're not doing it. We're gonna wrap up stream here though, because this is taking forever. If you've enjoyed, please drop this a like, it helps me amazingly. If you're new and not subscribed, you'd like to, that would just be amazing. And hopefully I will see everyone in the next video or stream. Bye guys.